Uh, hello, welcome to a new review. Uh, today it will be the upgraded version of the video receiver, the Aumwe RX004, which is a 32 channel receiver, including a DVR in order to record uh, your uh, in live your FPV station. So, compared to the former versions, there is absolutely no external sign of difference. The lists are exactly the same and uh, you find the same connector, two AV output, one record button, one micro SD card and uh, the uh, power alimentation. So basically no external sign uh, to recognize your versions. So the novelty here uh, in fact is more a bug uh, correction. Um, you, the main novelty is a during clink on the second output AV2 of the video signal. Now, when you plug your goggles uh, into this uh, uh, output, you will uh, receive directly uh, the video signal in much more uh, better quality. And when you are recording your your sessions, you won't have any more some slowdown uh, while uh, recording. So it's a good news, and. Um, the second good news, since there is no more slowdown due to the video um, processor, uh, you, your e-tracker information should work when you plug your, uh, your e-tracker in this second output. So, uh, I will test uh, uh, this uh, upgraded version. So, uh, I will first plug uh, the, uh, the, my Googles, my homemade Googles on the second output. And I will start to, to plug my uh, Google look here. I will power the home way. Okay, and start to plug my small uh, video uh, system. Okay, including a 170 degrees of field of view uh, camera, uh, 200 milliwatts video transmitter, and OSD and uh, GPS. Since I'm inside, home, uh, the GPS information won't be updated. So I start to power on the USD. I will plug a second battery for simulating the quad, for example, a quad battery. And you will find inside, uh, if you can make a zoom. Okay. All the information display, you will find on the top uh, the time scheduling, uh, the maximum altitude. You see that the image is a little bit cropped. Uh, this is due to my uh, LCD. Okay, so on another uh, monitor LCD, this information should be a little bit below. So no more crops. So unfortunately, this LCD is a little bit cropping the images. Uh, is exactly the same for the Boscam video receiver. So um, the good news that uh, with this upgraded version of the home way, you won't have any more some cropping uh, part of the images. That's the good news. So three good news. Uh, uh, okay, I will start to press the record button here. Okay, I will exit here. Okay, you will see that the recording mode is LED is flashing there. It means that it means that is recording and one is recording. If you can see the image there, Okay, make a zoom there and you will see that the image is absolutely, absolutely not slowing, slowing down so while recording. But the bad news, uh, you won't see anymore this uh, red point appearing uh, to alert you that is recording on, on, off. So uh, in order to have it, you have to plug uh, the, your Google on the AV1, that I will do it immediately. So I will exchange the to AV1 here, okay, and in these cases, okay, you will see the red point appearing, but you notice the slowdown, okay, and the image quality is a little bit more filtered. You can see the slowdown, okay, and a uh, little bit. Uh, this is due to the uh, to the um, uh, processing time of the ins included built-in video process uh, processor of this DVR. Okay, 
and uh, well, a little bit slow down, but it's not catastrophic. You have something like 20 image per second, but if you plug in the AV2, it's perfectly, perfectly fluid. Okay, it's the image quality is even better, more clear, more clear. No. Okay, this is and this uh, review. Bye-bye.